Hello and good morning. A very quick tutorial. We're going to call this one, I don't know, up your Google Slides and respect copyright and uh, owner's rights. So here we are. Let's start off a little music. And then open up a new tab. You may or may not know this. However, in a new tab, you're going to get the option to click on the little grid over here of your apps. You can go right to slides from here. I'm using slides because I'm doing that in class right now and teaching kids a little bit about copyright and citation. So it opens up a little bit slower than I'd like. Open up a blank one. Now, if this is something that you think you might ever like to uh, print off on paper, you're going to need to go over to file because this is um, widescreen and it's not going to be printable on our paper size. Uh, I believe so anyway go down to file go to paper page setup and when you see arrows you get options standard looks good okay let's do that now I'm just gonna command A to delete this I like to start off with a fresh clean slide under tools over here you can go to research from there you can choose images and here this drop down lets you choose the license instead of just not filtered by license a regular Google search free to use share or modify Click in there and you're ready to go. I need a picture of a brain. Go like so. I can click it and drag it in here now. And now later on, when I'm finished doing my whole presentation, I'm going to need to make an attribution slide at the very end. And I tell you what, there it is for all to see at all times. So that is one way of knowing at the very least, even if you're not worried about citations, you're only using uh, images that the owner said are okay for you to use. I could later on give you, um, in fact, you know what I will? I'll do right now, I'll give you a super quick little link here um, from a website I use here at the school, copyright citation. This gives you some definitions and it's really kid friendly, even gives you a very simple ma manner in which you can make a citation from uh, Flickr. Of course, if you're really into Flickr, what you really want to do is go to something that's called photosforclass.com. This is a crawler. This will actually go in and find uh, Creative Commons licensed images from Flickr. And when you download it, it actually puts the citation in there for you. Fantastic. All right, that's great. That's all. Thanks. Hope it was helpful.